Eight Sleep has just released their brand new Pod 4 and Pod 4 Ultra and I got early access to test it out. Oh, this is literally one of my favorite products. I have the Pod 2, I have two Pod 3s, and now I have the Pod 4 Ultra. This is a smart bed cover that heats and cools your bed, vibrates to wake you up, and now it literally elevates you. And this is one of my favorite technologies. I can't sleep without it, I love it. Today we're gonna share what's new. I'm a big and heavy guy and I sleep really hot sometimes, especially with a weighted blanket gets even more hot. But the thing I love about my H sleep is that it cools me down. I love setting the temperature, especially in the summer months to freezing cold right when I go to bed. And then it slowly and gradually gets warmer throughout the night depending on my sleep stages. I live a luxurious life and I don't wake up with an alarm, but sometimes I do set it where it will wake me up with extremely hot or cold temperatures as well as a vibration. And those features in itself makes this product worth it, but now they just made it even better. The new Pod 4 Ultra has this adjustable base and you don't need to get a new mattress. Everyone that I always talk to thinks that you need to buy a new mattress with 8sleep, but really it's a cover that can go on your original mattress and then the new piece, which is the adjustable base, will go underneath your mattress. I think the most important thing is to make sure that the base will fit whatever box spring that you have or the place that you put your bed just needs to allow you to add this base to it and it needs to have enough room where your mattress can move up and down from your legs and your feet. It's, it's dual, it's really freaking cool. Remember, if you do plan to buy an 8 sleep pod, whichever one it is, click the link in the description, use my discount code SHERVIN, it will stack an extra discount on the current price today. That will help support the channel so I can keep making videos like this. Now, let me show you the unboxing and installation of the 8 Sleep Pod 4 Ultra. So these are all of the 8 Sleep boxes that come with the new Pod 4. We have a massive box right here, and then we've got the hub, which rests in here. And then we have each of the sides of the bed have one of these bad boys, I think. The base, box right base, left box left base it's the accessory box um, so there's a lot of boxes these are pretty heavy kind of been a little damaged in shipment but I think everything inside will be safe um, but this is kind of the biggest piece I don't know exactly what this is but there's one box two boxes three four five boxes that have been delivered all these and then the old one so the hub came in a box like this this is the new hub boxes are a lot bigger <laughs> a lot more pieces to it as well and i don't know if this is what happens to everyone but the eight sleep team is actually going to come help install this for me on my bed right here we have the old eight sleep uh we're gonna probably take that off replace it with this new one the brand new pod four and uh we're gonna see what that setup process is like just in a little bit so i'll show you that the first thing they had to do was remove the old Pod 3 cover on my mattress. That was pretty easy as we could just slide it off and then move the hub away. The new hub actually comes in a little bit bigger of a box than the previous hub. The hub is slightly bigger as you can see them side by side, but the new box I guess just protects it better. There are a lot of more components, um, it's more efficient, it's more powerful, and supposedly it's going to be way better. It's actually way quieter too. And with the Pod 4 Ultra, you get bases on each side, so there's a left base and a right base, and they come in the biggest boxes I've ever seen uh, they kind of come in these nice carrying cases too so you pull them out of the box you place the carrying case with the base on your bed frame and if you don't want to use your bed frame they actually do provide these little legs that you can use of different adjustable heights and you can place those legs inside of your bed frame if you don't want to use your own bed frame but this worked with my bed frame they place it on it folds open and then you place the other side on which same process you put the bag on your bed you open it up and then you unfold the entire thing. This platform is what's going to allow the Pod 4 Ultra to lift your legs up and your head up to a certain degree. So 45 degrees on the head and I believe 25 degrees on the feet. And that's where all the fun new technology comes in. So there is a power cable that's just for the base. So you will need an outlet for that. And then you also need a second outlet for the hub. So before it was just one power outlet, now you need two. So just make sure that you have two power outlets nearby or you have a power strip where you can plug both of these in. Uh, and then there is this kind of like flat metal plate that goes in the middle of the two bases and it holds the two bases together. There is this flat metal piece with like four spikes and that helps to make sure that the two sides of the base are perfectly aligned. So you will have to kind of adjust a little bit. But the next step was actually pulling out the cover which comes in another handy dandy case that you can keep and reuse. It has the tubing inside with the refillable cartridges. So the inside of the new Pod 4 cover is actually different than the previous models. It is pretty silky. So that just makes it easy because the mattress will be adjusting up and down, right? You're moving it. This will allow the cover to slide much easier on the mattress. And there is kind of a silky cover that you want to put on your mattress. And then you'll put the cover on top of that silky cover. The silky cover, the top portion of it, is, has a little bit more of a friction surface, whereas the rest of it is super silky smooth. So that's just one thing that I noticed. But there are a lot more pieces and components to install in the Pod 4 
Ultra already. And then there are two retainer bars, these kind of like oddly shaped metal bars that go in the bottom of the base to help prevent your mattress from sliding around as it makes these adjustments. There are two tension rods that will go on each side of the pod for cover. They slide into these kind of like white pieces. Very similar to setting up a tent when you're camping. Just make sure that the tension rods are not on the top of the mattress, but actually on the sides of your mattress. This is just to make sure that because the pod four is going to have a lot of moving parts that the cover stays where it's supposed to be and it slides as it needs to. Eight Sleep has done a ton of extensive testing, experimenting, and all these little things are like, you're kind of like, why do they have them? Them, but they each add value and there's a specific purpose to create the best possible experience for you. Next, this newest model, actually, it's okay to put tap water in it. Previously, you had to use hydrogen peroxide and distilled water. Now with a new cleaner device that's inside the tubing itself, you can use tap water if you'd like. And inside of the tubing, there's this kind of like cartridge device that you can pull out. And inside that, there is a disinfectant liquid. And every six months, you'll get shipped one of these cartridges for free. So I would just make sure wherever you put your hub and the tubing that you can easily access that, you know, every six months to replace that cartridge. It's 255, prime number one. All right, so the first prime started at 255, it is now 259. It's like four minutes. Let's see how long the second prime takes. 255 to 311. It's 15, 16 minutes. You can see the feet too. Oh. That was max height. Now this is what I thought on my first few nights with the Eight Sleep Pod 4 Ultra. And I put the legs up really high. I was like, what is it gonna feel like if my legs were at plus 10? Not the best idea. Um, I sometimes roll on my side and I just felt kind of weird on my hips because like my legs were elevated when I'm sleeping on my side. So don't do that. Lesson learned. But other than that, I don't think I'm snoring a lot. I don't know if it's because of the bed or for other reasons. So I need to look at the data. I don't know why. I think I slept really well last night. Could just be placebo, but I love having my feet up. Just, that's my favorite feature so far. So I slept some nights off of the Eight Sleep Pod 4 and on the Pod 3 just to see if I'd noticed any differences. And the first thing I noticed was the button. I wanted to actually change the temperature like two to three stops. And I was like, oh, the button would actually be really nice right now. Why can't I use it? So that was a big one. But the second thing I did realize was it's actually much easier to put your bed sheets on the bed when you put it on reading mode because now it's just easier, it's more accessible. I can put the sheet over here and then this is kind of elevated too. Uh, when it's all the way down, it's kind of hard to wrap my hand around, but lifting it up, this is a little extra value add. If you want to change the sheets, just put it in reading mode, change the sheets, and then put it to the sleeping mode. Uh, it is my birthday today, so uh, Eight Sleep just gifted the world with the new Eight Sleep Pod 4 and the Pod 4 Ultra for my birthday. That's kind of cool. Just comment below, happy birthday. But yeah, that's kind of cool, right? <laughs> Back to the video. Let's talk about my experience so far with the newest features. So it has snore detection and there's no microphone built in. It's using the vibration pad kind of near your chest to understand when you're snoring. And this was actually available in the pod three. So if you have that one, you should be able to see that in a new software update. But now with the pod four ultra and autopilot, it can actively intervene when I'm snoring. So if I start snoring in bed, which I do a lot, it will actually lift up the head a little bit to stop me from snoring. I've only slept on it for three nights so far, but I will extensively test this in a future video. And I use this app called Snore Clock to actually measure my snoring with a microphone, since the Eight Sleep is not using a microphone, but special sensors in its cover. And I was able to actually see that the snoring that happened on the Snore Clock app with the noise was pretty much the same as the snoring on the Eight Sleep app. And I even see an autopilot event where it showed that it moved my base up about like five, six degrees to intervene with my snoring. Now over a long period of time, will this reduce my snoring? That's really what I want to find out. But just having that technology is really, really cool. But autopilot doesn't only do that in the past models too. It will adjust the temperature based on your environment, the outside world temperature and how you're sleeping in a certain stage that you're in. So that's really valuable to help optimize your sleep without any work at all. And I can sleep with a different elevation. When I broke my foot, the doctor actually told me to elevate my leg on the bed because supposedly at night with my leg up a little bit, it would just help increase blood flow to that area, getting some of the bad stuff out and the good stuff in. So I was really excited to see that, hey, I could actually elevate both of my legs on the new Eight Sleep Pod for Ultra. Having a slight elevation just made me feel more relaxed. I'm curious to see how this impacts my overall sleep scores over the next couple months. Now for the new Pod 4 cover, it does feel a little bit different. The tubing is also a little bit different. This is to allow the cover to move up and down to be more flexible and still cool your mattress when you're using the elevation features. You'll feel the tubing much less. So in the Pod 2, you could kind of feel the tubing. In the Pod 3, it got a bit softer and the Pod 4 is even softer. So you're much less likely to feel the tubing. It never bothered me, but if that's something that bothers you, this is probably gonna be the most comfortable out of all of their models. 
and actually the most comfortable that I've personally tested out of any of the bed cooling devices out there. The hub itself is slightly bigger than the previous model. So I did buy a bed frame from one of my places where I could actually fit the hub underneath the bed. It was like perfectly 18 inches and I just slid under. But this new hub is just a tad bit taller and it won't fit under those 18 inch bed frames. So keep that in mind that if, if you have a really tall bed frame that you like to sneak it under, you will have to place it next to your bed. I personally like to have everything hidden, but you will most likely have this next to your bed. There's one hub that covers both sides of the bed and you can have separate temperatures, separate alarms, and separate sleep tracking for both sides of the bed. You can use the dual zone temperature control, the dual zone sleep tracking, and dual zone alarms. So it won't wake the other person, which is really nice. I did a full video where I tested the temperature speeds, the power consumption, the noise levels in another video, go watch that. And I did find the Pod 3 to be one of my favorites. So the Pod 4 is gonna be even better. What's surprising is the Pod 4 is actually quieter. So they added in more hardware that makes it much quieter. It's so quiet that I can't, honestly can't measure it because this room baseline decibels is like 40 or 50 and the Pod 4 is supposed to be 30. So if you're someone who doesn't like noise, this thing's gonna be okay for you. Another thing that I did not like about my Pod 3 was that I couldn't control it without my phone. Now, there's a new little like touch button on the side, more like a tap button where you can like tap twice, tap three times, tap once for different controls. So like twice is to go down in temperature, three times to go up in temperature, snooze the alarm, changing the mode of the bed. I did find it really valuable that now I do have this control, but for some reason, just like not having a small screen to see the temperature, you do get kind of a vibration feedback and it's nice to make these like minor adjustments, but for some reason it doesn't feel as nice as like having a phone where I press something and I know exactly the number that it's going to. But for snoozing the alarm or turning off the alarm, I think that is amazing that we finally have something like that. So now it's getting better where you can use it more often without your phone, but it's not like the exact device where I could totally use it without the phone. Lastly, let's talk about the elevation feature in more detail. So yes, we talked about the snore detection and the snore mitigation in a way, but now there are some modes with the elevation. There's a ton of things, like this bed lifts up pretty high. The Pod 4 Ultra provides a reading mode where it will elevate the top side of the bed 45 degrees, or you can get the bottom side of the bed to like 20 degrees. The thing that I am a little bit worried about, it does have more moving parts. So really making sure that you know what the warranty is and if you want purchasing an extended warranty, I'd probably recommend it, especially the more moving parts you have, the more likely that something can break. 8sleep I know uses very high quality products, which I really appreciate. And there are motion sensors on the bottom, so like if a cat or someone something gets underneath the bed, it's not going to adjust the bed. So there are some safety mechanisms, but I'm not sure how it works if something's smaller. So if I stick my hand under, will it be able to detect and stop my hand from getting crushed? Now maintenance, what's the maintenance like? So with the previous ones, you had to put hydrogen peroxide in the tank to help keep the water clean and use distilled water. But with this new one, with the Pod 4, you can actually use tap water and they provide these little cartridges that go inside of the tubing. And every few months they'll send you a new cartridge and you can just go ahead and replace it. So I would just make sure that this tubing section near the back of the pod is accessible. So that way you can unplug that old cartridge and put in the new one. It's gonna inject a whole bunch of cleaning stuff. I don't know exactly what it is, but that's gonna help keep your water and all the tubing relatively clean. Now price, how much is this thing going to cost? For the Pod 4, they will have a full option, which is $2,449. The Pod 4 Ultra starts at a queen and goes up to a Cali King. And the Ultra, which has the adjustable base, starts at $4,049 and goes up to $4,149. So just note the Pod 4 is gonna be relatively closer to the old Pod 3 price. And the Pod 4 Ultra is gonna be another step up, offering this insane adjustable base, which, which is freaking cool. And this is an investment. So some things I would think about is, can you get an extended warranty? If you're buying it with a credit card, does your credit card offer an extended warranty? And three, maybe open up a new credit card because this could actually fulfill some of your bonus offers and get some more points. I do have some credit cards that I really love, like my favorite is the Amex Platinum. There is a link down below where you can go ahead and click to open up a new credit card and use that to make your eight sleep purchase obviously using discount code Shervin while you do that. And I even saw in the Amex offer section, you might have a percentage off on an eight sleep purchase. So go check that before you make the purchase because you could get another discount back from your credit card. This is a big investment, but the big value is that you don't have to put much work once you install it. And it's going to provide a ton of value over time with the least amount of effort possible. You don't need to charge it. The maintenance is so minimal. 
and every night it's gonna help make your sleep just a little bit better. Since you enjoyed this video, go watch my video where I compare the top bed cooling devices. You'll get all the details and data on which one I think is my favorite. Remember, use discount code Shervin to get an extra discount on whatever's available on their website. Click the link in the description. Subscribe, turn on notifications to stay tuned for my full review of the 8 Sleep Pod 4 Ultra. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.